Bump me, baby. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Biz. Dang it, Brick City. Stay out of corner. I don't know if it was in particularly like a movement, you know. I guess I, I came around when it was when I kind of joined. It was still grassroots, you know, like the momentum from I would say the explaining the new record that Bizzle dropped and the two mixtapes. Um, it was very, it was still grassroots, but it was in that like fastly developing into a movement type of you know cult following type of thing. So um, I don't want to say I would be like more like Bizzle, but you know what I mean? Like I just, it's not like I, I joined an already established thing, you know what I mean? It was still like, I got to be a part of it as it flourished. Man, uh, from the sideline, just as a fan, I, I believed in the ministry, I believed in the message, I believed in the music, I was a fan of, of, of both the music. Actually, a sailor had, had already joined, um, and I already believed in what he was doing before he even got down. And then, uh, so I decided to sow into the ministry as an a and &R to serve and uh, you know secretly thinking hey man I would fit in the, into this equation and uh, I believed in what they were doing I saw it was strong I saw that the, the logo that we wear on our chest the God over money it was just more than a, a record label it was a, a saying that meant something to people and um, and they lived by it I saw these guys live by it and you know it was an honor to, to be able to join and, and to sow into this ministry with my music aside from the a and &R. I heard about Bizzle when I was in college. Um, it had nothing to do with me being a fan. <laughs> at all. At all. Actually, you know, my man she was not saved. He was like, yo, this is dude all over the radio. This Jay-Z, everybody, oh, it's crazy. And I, I checked it out and I was like, yo, he's a Christian rapper, you know what I'm saying? That's the first time I heard about Biz. And I was always respected his craft. Um, and, you know, Several, several things, you know, I think were, were, were ordained by God for us to link up. Because we, we didn't start off as friends. Um, we started off, you know, in contention. And um, God, you know, helped mend that brotherhood do that. And as I as I grew with, with, with Biz as a brother and, and, you know, boss and stuff, like that's when I started to admire God over money for what it really is. And for what the movement is, and what it's developed into. And now it's just like, when I walk down the street with the GO1 hoodie on or something, I mean, it's, it's a different it's a different vibe when you're in a neighborhood you ain't never been before and some little old lady compliments your hoodie. Like, that's a great message, young man. Like, that's, it's something different. It's a different feeling. And I'm thinking, I, I feel like it's transcending everything. Because that's what America really needs right now, that, that mindset. God over money. Like, we need that more than ever right now. When I joined God over money, nah, um, it, just, it really just started, man, through my testimony. Um, being in so many situations where I didn't put God over money, where I put money over God many times. And um, kind of had to learn the hard way that <laughs> that's not the way you're supposed to be doing it, man. So just trying to keep him first. And I remember when I when I said it as a bar, it was always something I talked about off record. You know what I'm saying? Especially with everybody saying money over everything, money over everything. This was like, okay, we'll God over that. And um, eventually, man, it just... I wasn't really, when I got saved, I wasn't trying to be no leader, or no, you know what I'm saying, nothing like that. I was just trying to get up under cast wings, like I'm still new, and God just kind of put me in this position to lead this movement, man, and it's, it's been growing, and it not only does it now represent putting God over money as far as your priorities, but just, I think that the movement and the label represents the boldness, um, you know what I'm saying, like, we not, we not ducking. Uh, hard issues. We, we we addressing anything that needs to be addressed with a with a biblical viewpoint. Um, and man, I, I'm I'm glad that we kind of taken that on it, to be the ones who tackle hard subjects. And if it involves controversy, it involves controversy. But I, I think the Jesus's whole thing was controversial. You know what I'm saying? A lot of points. So I'm glad to be that, that God would even see fit to have me lead anything. You know what I'm saying? And, it's just a blessing. I think people are, it's getting so wicked that people are kind of hungering now for something other than what they've been fed. A new mind state. It's like, it's all about the money, money over everything. But then, ever so, it's all good when you're on the receiving end of that money, but when you're on the opposite side and you're getting stepped on, you're getting cut at the ankles, and, and all of this stuff is happening. You see people treating money, I mean, you see people acting like money 
is more valuable than a person daily, right? And, and the concentration is so set on money. Eventually that gets old. And it gets old when you're the victim of that mindset. And a lot of us, if me, myself, I've been the one on top of that, abusing using somebody for money, but I've also played, I've also been the victim of someone else who felt that way. Put money over everything, therefore they were ready to hustle me, lie to me, steal from me, all of that kind of stuff. And it all starts with that, with that mind state. So I think we just provide a new way of thinking when you're so tired of the same, the same cutting people down and anything for the buck, like the buck ain't everything, you feel me? I think it resonates in people's hearts because it's true, you know what I mean? Like I think even the people who, you know, consistently put money over God or like a materialistic lifestyle or whatever, like they know that one has never worked, you know what I mean? They never got satisfaction or contentment through money or, you know what I mean, monetary stuff. So it's true, you know what I mean? So it's like it kind of resonates when they see that, you know, God over money or whatever. Um, or what we stand for. It, it just, I think there's universal truths that ring in the hearts of every human being, you know what I mean? That being one of them, like, you can't be satisfied by monetary gain, so to so. It started as a, a bar saying that, you know, God over money is a new movement, and it's truth music. But I ain't had no team or no nothing. It was just me and a gang of people I know felt like me and we tired of this and, and people lying to the, to the public and lying to these children for a paycheck and you know, it, it kind of just, Voss had, LaVossier actually is the one who pointed it out to me. Cause like I said, like I was still like, Lord, who do you want me to join? I'm trying to get under Cat's wings. I'm under LaVossier's wing, under P-Dove's wing, under Seven's wing, like I'm the little bro. And Voss was like, yo, it looks like God is just, he's giving you a movement, bro. I know you don't feel like you're a leader, but people are following. So, you know what I'm saying? You need to really take that to God. And, you know, you see cats like Moses, who didn't feel like he was fit to do it. You see how cats like Jeremiah, who didn't feel like he was fit to do what God asked him to do. And that was me. I didn't feel like I was fit, but if God put it on my plate, then he knew I could handle it with his help. You know what I'm saying? Next, you got the Bizzle album, you know what I'm saying? I'm working on it, I'm not gonna drop no title, no date or nothing. Just know that I'm up till 4 a.m. every morning working. And um, it's coming soon. Right now though, it's still it's still time for, for Bumps, Man the Machine to shine. Um, and then after that, after I drop, we are gonna drop. I don't know who's, who's gonna drop yet. We got, we like, everybody's working at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So eventually his albums start to get done and We'll, we start strategically placing things, you know, say, uh, uh, what I'm saying, of course. But, um, yeah, man, so it's me, one of them, and then back to him. Right now, we're, all, we're doing this God Over Money tour, man. Um, I can't tell you the dates and the places off my mind. I know that we hit Wichita, Kansas next, and, and, and uh, uh, Orlando. And we in Houston, Houston in, a couple, in a couple days. We should be hitting Brooklyn soon. Um, the rest of the stuff you can go on GodOverMoney.com. Check, see when we see when we gonna be in the city. But Just yeah, stay man. plugged into all our social medias. We're constantly posting where we're going. There you go. That's yeah. how you keep in touch. Anybody Follow in the Caribbean us. or Hawaii that wants to bring us out, we be, you know we want to yes. do the Lord's work. Yes. <laughs> Bahamas, <laughs> all of that. <laughs> 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 <laughs>